ABC. Hello. Now I'm going to show you how to draw the alphabet. And we're going to start with the letter A. Grab your pencil and let's go. A. A is for ape. Let's start with a dark brown pencil and draw a slanted line. Now another line, just like the first, on the other side. And then the line across the middle. That's the letter A. Isn't it great? Next, let's make it thicker. Do this by drawing a little triangle in the middle. Then a corner on each side at the bottom. How about drawing a couple of eyes up here? With a dot inside. Now, how about drawing a nose in the middle? Yeah, nice! But where's the mouth? That can go down here. Draw a couple of teeth. Under them, the bottom lip. Then another line that opens up the mouth. In the mouth, draw a small tongue. And perhaps a line around the eyes, almost like he's wearing glasses. What do you think it looks like now? Ah, now I see, it's an ape. Our ape needs some ears. Now add some hands down at the bottom of the A and give them cute little nails. Behind the arms, draw two legs. Now our lines are ready and we can start coloring in. First, let's use a dark brown pencil. Then use a more reddish brown color for around the eyes. And then a lighter brown for the body. The upper lip and the lower lip can be a yellowy orange. And of course, the tongue is red. I also think our ape should have some texture on the fur. A green grassy shadow on the ground. And then some trees in the background. Sign the drawing and the ape is finished. Wow, what a great ape. B. B is for beetles. Let's start with a dark blue pencil and draw a long straight line. Now draw a curve from the top down to the middle. And then another curve below, just the same. That's the letter B. Now let's make it thicker. How about drawing an eye up here? Just a little circle with a dot inside. Why not another eye below? Suddenly it's starting to come to life, don't you think? What about drawing a downwards line here? And another line going across the bottom. What do you think it looks like? Ah, uh, now I see it. It's a beetle. Now wait, there are two beetles. One above and one below. Can you see them? Now draw on some little beetle legs. How about some stripes on the back of the top beetle? While we decide what sort of pattern we want on the other beetle, we can draw a pattern behind the beetles. The line drawing is done and we can start coloring. First, color in every other stripe with a strong pink color. Then, take a pretty yellow color and color in the rest of the stripes. And the back of the lower beetle. Continue on to the faces. The top beetle has a blue-purple face. And the lower beetle has a strong turquoise face. The grass behind the flowers should, I think, be a pretty green color. Next, color the circle in the middle of the flowers with a yellow pencil. 
You might want to go back over the original lines so that they are clear and strong. Now, we can add on some small details. Finally, sign the drawing and our beetles are finished! <laughs> A beetle that rides on another beetle! C! C is for caravan! Let's start with a dark brown pencil and draw a large curve. That's the letter C. Isn't it great? Now, let's make it thicker. Do this by drawing another curve, following the shape all the way down to the bottom. How about continuing the line here and making a circle? Now I'll draw a small circle in the middle. And an even smaller circle inside that. If we draw a door here, then the small circles in the middle become a window. Can you see what I see? <laughs> I see a caravan! Let's continue with the wheel underneath the caravan. And around that comes the chassis which holds the caravan up. Draw a tail light and indicator. The roof should have a TV aerial so that we can watch TV. I reckon the windows need curtains. Then it's much more cozy inside a caravan. Draw some curtains for the door too. That's the line drawing done and we can start to color in. The round window and the curtains in the door can be light blue. To finish, draw some background. Green grass under the caravan, a great big yellow spiral of a sun. Sign the drawing and our caravan is finished. Look at it! I want to move in right away. D. D is for dinosaur. Let's start with a dark purple pencil. Draw a straight line like this and then a large curve coming out from it. That's the letter D. Isn't it great? Now, let's make it a bit thicker. Do this by simply drawing another small D in the middle. How about drawing a small round spot inside a little D? Maybe we could draw a mouth under the eye. Like that. And now some teeth. Have about another eye. Draw a spot in the middle. Now we need to draw some legs. Four cute little legs. What do you think it looks like now? Ah, oh, now I see what it is. A dinosaur! Lots of dinosaurs have large powerful tails like this. about one big patch around the eye. Our dinosaur also needs some plates on its back. Now the line drawing is finished and it's time to color in. First, use a bright green pencil to color over nearly the whole body. Then, use a strong turquoise color for the big patch around the eye. 
and have about some light yellow inside the eye. Carry on by coloring the plates orange and maybe use some orange on the pupil of the eye as well. How about some wrinkles on its nose? And now a few more patches around the body. Finally, sign your drawing and your dinosaur is finished. Look how great it is, with the snake body and everything. E! E is for elk. Let's start with a black pencil and draw a line straight down. Now a line across from the top. Another line across from the bottom. And one more line across from about the middle. This is the letter E. Now let's make it a bit thicker. What if we draw an eye up here in the corner? Our E is starting to look alive, don't you think? How about drawing a mouth on the other side? So far so good, but where is his nose? That can go up here. More of a nostril than a nose. Now we need to draw on a large top lip. What do you think it looks like now? Ah, uh, now I get it. It's an elk. Can you see it? Continue with hooves. Our fine elk has a hump at the top of his back. And by his bottom, he has a small round tail. And what kind of elk doesn't have antlers on his head? Finally, a small color to separate the neck from the body. Now the line drawing is finished and it's time to color in. Start by coloring with a reddish brown pencil. Then use a gray brown color for the rest of the body. Yellow for the antlers. Grab a black pencil to put some shadow on the tip of his snout and a bit more around the color. Now for a bit of landscape. Finish up by signing the drawing and we're all finished. F. F is for falcon. Let's start with the black pencil and draw a line straight down. Now, draw a line from the top across to the right. And a bit below, another line across. That's the letter F. Now, let's make it a bit thicker. Like this. Continue the same way all the way to the bottom. Drawing an eye up here. A sharp and tough looking eye. Now, draw a sharp tip on the end here. And one small nostril. Next, draw a line from the eye down to this corner. What does it remind you of now? This F can be a falcon with a massive beak. Next, draw on the little wing on the body. And then draw the legs. First, these round thighs.
then a pair of skinny legs going straight down. And two feet at the bottom. Finally, draw a short, pointy tail. That's the line drawing finished, and it's time to color it in. Start off with a yellow pencil for the whole beak. Then use a warm greyish brown for the head and neck. And the same color again on the wing and tail. And the tongue is red. Grab a black pencil and add some shadow at the end of the beak. Use the same pencil to make some spots around the neck and the head. Now we need a background. Finally, sign the drawing and our falcon is ready. Oh, ho, ho. that's one mean looking falcon. G. G is for goose. Let's start with a dark grey pencil and draw a big curved line. Then another line going straight in. That's the letter G. Now let's make it a bit thicker by drawing a small corner on the top and then by following the G shape the whole way around. What do you think it looks like? Maybe it should be an animal. Start by drawing an eye up here. A circle with a dot inside. How about drawing a straight line out here? Then turn it into a beak. So now we need a little line here to form the body. And a sweet little tail out here. What does it remind you of now? I think it looks like a goose. The shape inside the G is perfect for a wing. So all we need to do is to add three feathers. There, we've got a wing. Continue with the legs. First a round thigh, then one skinny leg sticking out. Repeat the same on the other side. That's the line drawing finished. And it's time to color it in. Start coloring with a warm yellow pencil for the beak and the feet. Then grab a reddish brown pencil and add some color to the head and down the long neck. Then swap it with a dark brown pencil around the eye and on the tip of the wing. We can also add some spots here as well. Now we need some grass our goose can waddle around in. Finally, sign the drawing and our goose is finished. What a gorgeous goose! is for hound. Let's start with a black pencil and draw a line straight down. Then another line, exactly the same next to it. Join them together with a line across like this. Now we have the letter H. Now let's make it a bit thicker, like this. Start at the top and follow the line down. Do the same again on the other side. And another line crossing over. Let's start with two eyes up here. With round spots in the middle. Yeah, they look like eyes now. Now how about a nose in the middle? Big black shiny nose. That's great, but where's the mouth? That can go down here. Now, draw some teeth. And 
and a sweet tongue sticking out of the mouth. What do you think it looks like now? It's a hound dog. Dogs need ears to hear things. How about drawing a bone in the mouth? Now, let's make two back legs by drawing a line like this. Three toes at the end of each leg. That's the drawing finished. Now we can color it in. Start off with some light gray for the tail and the body. I think our hound dog will look even better with some spots scattered around. Color in the tongue with red. And he needs loads of green grass to run around in. A kennel. Finally, sign the drawing and our hound dog is done. Oh, look at it. Good doggy. I. I is for ice cream. Let's start with this purple pencil and draw a line straight down. This is the letter I. Isn't it great? It needs to be a bit thicker. Does it remind you of anything? An ice cream! Yeah! Start with a wavy line across the ice cream. And another. This is a strip of dark chocolate. Oh, yummy! Draw a straight line across the bottom to separate the fruity icing from the vanilla ice cream inside. Every ice lolly needs a stick, like this one. Yep, that's looking like a real ice lolly now. Wait a minute, has some greedy person taken a bite? This does look a bit like a bite mark. Hmm, you can see all the way through the vanilla ice cream in the middle. And what about these crumbs? Whoever took the bite was really, really messy. at all the shapes and sizes. That's the line drawing done, and now we can color in the lolly. Start with a milk chocolate brown to color in. Then a dark chocolate brown for the wavy chocolate strip. More dark chocolate for the bite mark. Color in the crumbs at the same time. Some milk chocolate, some dark chocolate. For the bottom of the lolly, use a pink pencil to color in the fruity icing. It's a delicious raspberry flavor. Now we should decorate the lolly with some lovely large purple dots. But who was it who took a bite of the lolly? Ha ha ha! It was me! And here comes my hand again to try to get some more. Finally, sign your drawing. Look at this delicious ice cream. J! J is for Jaguar. Let's start with a black pencil and draw a line straight down curving up to the left at the bottom. It's the letter J. Isn't it great? Let's make it a bit thicker. Like this. Just follow the shape of the J all the way around. Let's start with a pair of eyes on the left of the J. A circle. Another circle. Small round dots in the middle. It's beginning to come to life, don't you think? Now have about a little nose under the eyes. Let's draw a nice big smiley mouth right here. It's a cat, I think. But what kind of cat? Now I've got it. 
Yes, a jaguar. Now we are ready to draw the front legs. These are going to be its back paws. Then draw some lines for the hind legs, like this. And as you know, cats use tails for balance. So draw a long curved line and follow it back where it started. That's the line drawing done. Now it's time to color it in. Grab a yellow pencil and use it for the head. Outer ears, arms and all the way down the back. Use some black in the big mouth. Then some red for the tongue. Pink inside the ears. And more pink under the paws. Now then, jaguars are covered in black spots. Now, draw some whiskers poking out from the nose. And some speed lines. Sign the drawing and our jaguar is all done. Look at it! Isn't it great? K! K is for King! I'm going to kick off with a purple pencil and draw a line straight down. Then a diagonal line going up to the right. And a diagonal line down. That is the letter K. Isn't it great? Now let's make it a bit thicker. Do that by drawing extra lines around the original K, like this. Let's start with two eyes up here. Round spots in the middle. Now how about drawing a line across here? And a nose in the middle. But where's the mouth? That can go here. Ah, oh, look, a big smile. Maybe our K-man needs a little beard. Also, two ears. Wait, I've got it. He's going to be a king. Yes, cool. Okay, so some royal clothes. Draw a hand at the end of the arm. Next, a belt with a buckle in the middle and a belt on both sides. Under that, draw a small line to make two short legs. Then shoes, which curl up to a point at the tips. Next, let's draw his magnificent royal cloak. The line drawing is done, now we can color it in. Start with a light pink color for the face, ears and hands. A darker and stronger pink for the shirt. Trousers, green. Use the golden yellow for the crown and on the belt. The cloak is the strong pink again. Under the king, shade in to make a shadow along the ground. Stretching along to a castle. Finally, sign the drawing and our king is finished. L. L is for lion. Let's grab a black pencil and start by drawing a line straight down. And then another line out to the right. It's the letter L. Isn't it great? Now, this L needs to be thicker following the L shape the whole way around. Let's start with a pair of eyes up here. One circle, another circle, with round dots in the middle. 
cut a nose in the middle. Now draw a little line down from the nose and the mouth can go underneath. A straight line across here, another line below. That's one nice big open mouth and some big sharp teeth. A big tongue out to one side. Now we need to draw two large triangular ears. And a big mane. What do you think it looks like now? Ah, I've got it. It's a lion. The lion needs four legs. Now he can run fast. Oh, and a tail of course. The line drawing is done, now we can colour it in. Grab a yellowy orange pencil for the face, body and tail. A red-brown colour will be perfect for the mane. The tongue is red. Use brown for shading underneath the chin. Now we need some dry grass for the lion to run around in. In the background draw some high mountains. Finally sign the drawing. Wow! Check out our fantastic fierce lion. M! M is for mother. Let's start with a dark red-brown colour and draw a diagonal line down. Draw another diagonal line in the other direction, but a bit shorter. Then up again, and all the way down again. It's the letter M. Our M needs to be a bit thicker. So draw a line out from the corner and follow the whole M around. That's one seriously great M. Does it remind you of anything? Could this M become a person? Let's start by drawing a foot with toes at one end. Then a hand with fingers at the other end. What does it look like now? Ah, I have an idea. So, draw a head here. And suddenly our M looks like a person sitting on the floor. Now, draw the eye, draw a circle, with a dot in the middle, a dainty nose, and a big smile. Now for some hair, make the hair long and wavy, then we've drawn a lady. Okay, so a lady's chest. Then some shorts, a t-shirt to match, our lady friend is at the gym doing an exercise class. But who is she? Hmm, yes, I know, I know, it's a mum. Now we can colour her in. First the skin. Use a darker pink to colour in the shorts. If your mom has different colored hair or clothes, just color it in that way. Her t-shirt has pink dots all over it. And she's got a nice bright blue exercise mat. Finish up by signing the drawing and our mom is done. Wow, what a yummy mummy. Is for nose. And then start with a black pencil and draw a line straight down. Then a diagonal line down from the top. And another line straight down again. It's the letter N. We need to make the N a bit thicker. So draw a short line out from here, 
then follow the end shape the whole way around. Does it remind you of anything? Maybe it could be some kind of a person. But who? Well, it's always good to start with the eyes. And our N is beginning to come to life, don't you think? Add in some thick eyebrows. OK, we've got two eyes, but what about the mouth? Let's draw it down here. A nice big smile. A smile with teeth. Yeah, great! It's a weird looking man with a massive nose! Something is missing from the nose. Oh yes, a nostril, so he can breathe. That's the line drawing done, and we can start colouring in. Start with a brown pencil to colour every inch of his huge nose. Here and sideburns. And what about the little moustache? Yeah, that looks good. And a few whiskers on the chin. Some wrinkles on the forehead. And some stray hairs from his comb over. I'm not going to draw a body. But the bow tie will make him look very smart. And a bit of shadow around one eye. Sign the drawing and Nose Man is finished. That's quite the conk. Oh yeah. <laughs> for opera. Let's start with a black pencil and draw a circle. It's the letter O. Now this O needs to be a bit thicker. That's it. One outstanding O. How about drawing some curved shapes like this at the top. They can be the teeth in a wide open mouth. Draw a great big tongue in the middle. On top, let's draw a big nose sticking upwards. The nose has nostrils for breathing. Suddenly, our O is coming to life. What does it look like now? It looks like a man's head. Let's give him an eye. Here. And another one. Here. Great. What about ears? They can go all the way down here. How about some wild curly hair? Draw a line across here. Next, arms. Draw a hand with five fingers. Look at him shouting. Wait a minute. He's not shouting. He's an opera singer. La la la. La la la. That's the line drawing done. Time to color him in. Use a soft pink for the face, the ears and the hands. Color in the tuxedo and the shoes. Use orange for his curly hair. Red for the tongue and red lips. Now go over all the lines again with black. Some musical notes. Sign your drawing and our opera singer is finished. Hello, hello, hello. What a voice! P. P is for parrot. Let's start with dark blue and draw a line straight down. 
then a big curve coming out from the top of the line and back again. It's the letter P. Isn't it great? Our P needs to be thicker. So start at the bottom, like this. And then draw a small curved shape inside the bigger curved shape. Let's start with a dot inside a smaller curved shape to turn it into an eye. Does it remind you of anything? Aha! I know what it is now. It's a parrot. Parrots have beaks. That is one strong beak. Now it's beginning to look more like a parrot. Continue with a nice round tummy. And some legs. First, small round ties. Then thin legs sticking out. At the bottom, draw on the feet. With a line for the toes. On its backside, draw some tail feathers, split into two. On the head, a crest, or in other words, a couple of feathers sticking upwards. Now open up the mouth. And draw in a little tongue. That's the line drawing done. Now we can color it in. Grab a light blue pencil to color in the head, body, wing and tail feathers. Continue with yellow for the beak and the feet. And warm red for the tongue. Finally, sign your drawing and the parrot is finished. Who's a pretty parrot? Q. Q is for quiche. Let's start with a blue pencil and draw a big circle. Then a little line in the bottom right corner. It's the letter Q. Now we need to make it a bit thicker. Start by turning the small line in the corner into a small sausage. Then draw a smaller circle inside the big circle. Let's start by adding a blade to turn that sausage into a knife. Does it remind you of anything? A person or an animal? No, I'm hungry and I have another idea. Draw another circle inside the small circle to turn it into a plate. A little line on the knife handle and another small line underneath. But what Q food could go on this plate? Hmm. Oh, I know! A quiche! I love quiche! It's delicious, full of eggs and other tasty stuff. I like mine with tomato, pepper, cheese, some ham. But you can use anything you like. Okay, that's the line drawing done. Now we can color it in. Start with a pale yellow and color in the whole eggy quiche. Use a red pencil for some more pepper bits and a stronger red for the tomato. Use orange for the knife handle. Now grab your blue pencil again and color in the ring on the plate. And draw a light blue wavy line around the plate. Shade in with the same light blue. I think we also need a glass of water. And salt and pepper pots. A fork and a napkin. I'm 
really hungry now. That really looks good enough to eat. Ah! Oh, all is for rat. Let's start with a black pencil and draw a line straight down. Then a big curve coming out from the top. And a diagonal line down. It's the letter R. Isn't it great? Now we need to make it a bit thicker. Do that by drawing double lines around everything. I'll show you how. Does it remind you of anything? Could we turn it into an animal? How about an eye up here? Let's draw a mouth here. Suddenly, our R is beginning to come to life, don't you think? But what about the nose? That can go down here. What do you think it looks like now? It's a rat! Can you see it? It needs a long, thin rat's tail. And a pair of round rat ears. With the same shape again on the inside. That's the line drawing all done. Now we can color it in. Start with a light grey pencil and color in the whole body. Next a bit of pink for inside the ears. And a bit of yellow for the eye. Stripes on the tail. And some texture on the fur. Use a black pencil and make lots of small lines everywhere. Carry on with the black pencil for more texture and shading on the fur and around the eye. Finally, sign the drawing and our rat is finished. <laughs> oh, he's so cute! S. S is for snake. Let's start with a purple pencil and draw a wavy line starting at the top. It's the letter S. Isn't it great? We need to make our S a bit thicker. So start at the top again and follow the whole S shape down. Like this. Wow, look at it now. One super cool S. Why not start with two eyes at the top? A circle, another circle. Each with a round dot looking to the side. Our S is beginning to come to life, don't you think? Next, draw a mouth down here. A nice wide smiley mouth. What does it look like now? I've got it. It's a snake. Can you see it? Now it's time to color it in. First, let's draw some thick lips onto the snake with a green pencil. Use the same pencil to color in the head and then the whole body of the snake. Just like this. Now we can put in some snake patterns. Work your way down the whole body, all the way to the tip of the tail. Most animals have some kind of pattern on their bodies. This lets us recognize them. Now some pink around the lips. But leave a white border, so our snake looks even more elegant. How about a little yellow for the eyes? Imagine the snake's eyes glowing in the dark in the woods. And the snake needs a long red tongue, forked at the end. Perhaps a 
a bit of yellow for the teeth too. Now we are ready for some grass. Long scribbled green grass. Finally sign your name on the drawing and our snake is finished. Wow, what a cool snake. T. T is for tiger. Let's start with a black pencil and draw a line straight down. Then a line across the top. It's the letter T. Isn't it great? Now we need to make our T a bit thicker. Look at it now. That's one terrific T. Perhaps we can turn it into an animal. OK, let's start with the nose, up here in the middle. Eyes next. One on the left side. And one to the right. With oblong dots in the middle. Our T is starting to come to life, don't you think? Now, draw a small line down from the nose. But what about the mouth? That goes underneath. Add in a pair of teeth. Now, fill it up with some more sharp teeth. That's the mouth done. What do you think it looks like now? Ah, I've got it. A big cat. How about a tiger? Yeah. Now our tiger needs a tail. A long tail with a curl at the end. And how about a pattern? Tigers are stripey, aren't they? And that's the line drawing finished. Now it's time to color it in. Start with an orange pencil. Next, use red for the nose. Grab a black pencil for the tiger's stripes. Use a green pencil to make some grass on the ground. Finish off by signing your name. Rawr. Wow, look at this tough tiger. U. U is for underwear. Let's start with a purple pencil and draw a line straight down, curving to the right. Then another line down, joining up at the bottom. It's the letter U. Isn't it great? Let's make the U a bit thicker. Do this by drawing a line out from the top, then following the U-shape the whole way around. Start off with a thin line across here. And a curved shape across the top. Now draw a pair of eyes at the top. A circle. Another circle. With round dots in the middle. Now. Let's draw a big round nose in the middle. But what about the mouth? That can go underneath. What a happy chappy! With just one tooth. He's got two big ears. And how about some spiky hair from the top of his head? Next, arms. Some bubbly lines like this will do nicely for a hand. Carry on and draw the legs in the same way. What do you think it looks like now? You know what I see? It's a boy with enormous underpants. <laughs> okay, and some more lines to make the underpants look more like proper underpants. That's the line drawing done. And now we can color him in. Start off with an orange pencil to color in the arms, legs and head. Next, grab a warm red pencil to color in the nose. 
and some rosy cheeks with the same colour. Carry on with a light turquoise for the underpants. Blue for the sides of the underpants. To finish, sign your name on the drawing and our underpant boy is done. Wow, that really is one spectacular pair of pants. V. V is for V. Let's start with a purple pencil and draw a diagonal line down. Then another line, exactly the opposite, meeting at the bottom. It's the letter V. Our V needs to be a bit thicker. Do this by extending out from here, then following the line down to the bottom. Let's draw a clumpy shape at the bottom. Does it remind you of anything? An animal? A person? And another wider shape like this. One more shape, a wider again, but thinner this time. That's the base, but for what? It's a vase. Draw a line across the V-shape. Let's go for some coloring in. Start by coloring the whole V pink. Now for a pattern. How about a wavy line going down one side and up the other? Then color one side of the wavy pattern with the same color. What else? Some dots on the other side. Now for the water. Use a bright turquoise color for this. I think we need a tablecloth under the vase. A cute, lazy tablecloth with a scribble. And finally, some yellow for the table around the tablecloth. Get your pink pencil and scribble a huge crazy doodle like this. Around and around and around and around. The flower needs a stalk and some leaves, so use a green pencil for that. Finally, sign your name and the drawing is done. Wow, what a beautiful vase. W. W is for worm. Let's start with a purple pencil and draw a diagonal line to the left then up again. Then do the same again on the other side. This is the letter W. Isn't it great? Now we need to make the W thicker. Draw a line from the top of the W and then follow the W shape all the way down to the other end. Let's draw two little eyes at one end of the W. Maybe we can turn it into an animal. Make two small circles and then some dots looking to one side. Next, a big happy smiling mouth, wide open. Two little nostrils for breathing. And two great big teeth. Inside the big mouth, a little tongue. Can you see what it is? Maybe this will help. Draw some lines all the way along the W, from the top of the head to the tip of the tail. Wait, it's a worm. What's our worm sitting on? A big leaf. having his lunch. 
so the leaf has a bite mark from his big mouth. That's the line drawing all done. Now we can color him in. Start off with a yellow pencil and start coloring in the head around the mouth and eyes. Color roughly every third stripe down his body. Fill in the rest of the stripes with a brown color. The leaf is of course green. But wait, what's this? There's a bit of leaf sticking out of his mouth. To finish, sign your drawing and your wriggly worm is all done. What a happy hungry worm. X. X is for xylophone. Let's start with a purple color and draw a diagonal line going down. Then another line, exactly the same, but going the other way. This is the letter X. Now we need to make our X thicker. Look at that now. An extraordinary X. But what does it remind you of? An animal? A person? No, let's draw something completely different. We've already got a stripe down in one corner, so why not another? Then some more at the other end. Yes, that's good. I have an idea. Let me show you. I'm going to draw stripes along the whole X shape even where it crosses over in the middle. Then I'm going to make the X even thicker and more solid with a double line along the sides. What do you think it looks like now? I think it looks like a xylophone. Do you know what that is? While I color in the sides, I'll tell you. A xylophone is a musical instrument. It's a bit like a drum because you hit it with a stick. Except, when you hit the bars with a stick, you get really great sounding musical notes. Some people call them mallets. And that's the line drawing done. Start coloring in with bright red for some of the bars here and there. Then do some with yellow. Then orange, blue, pink, green. The round tips of the sticks are grey and the handles are orange. Now we need some rivets. Finally sign the drawing and our xylophone is finished. Y is for yoga. Let's start with a dark red-brown pencil and draw a diagonal line down. Then an identical line going up again. That looks like the letter V. So draw another line straight down from the bottom. It's the letter Y. We need to make the Y a bit thicker. Do it like this. Look at it now, a superb Y. Does it remind you of anything? Could it be an animal? No wait, I think it could be a person. Let's try something out. Let's draw a line across the Y on the left side and another up here. We need arms, one round line here and another. Draw some hands at the ends of both arms. Up in the air on the right hand side, draw a foot with some pointy toes. It's a girl, so she needs some hair. A cute little nose in the middle. And eyes on each side. 
her eyes are closed. So draw them as two curved lines. Under the nose is the mouth. Then draw two ears. But what is she doing? She's training. Clothes now. A crop top, short enough so you can see her belly button underneath. Next, draw the chest. But what kind of training is our Y girl doing? Oh, it's yoga! That's the line drawing done and we can color her in. Start coloring with a yellow pencil, then a soft pink for the skin. Here next, I'm going with a reddish brown. Then a bright pink for her lips and her rosy cheeks. How about the flower in the hair? Finally, sign the drawing and our yoga girl is finished. Wow, what a great yoga pose. Z. Z is for zebra. Grab a black pencil and draw a line across from left to right. Then diagonally down. And another line across. It's the letter Z. We need to make this Z thicker. Does it remind you of anything? Maybe we can turn it into some kind of animal? But what kind? It's always good to start with an eye. Simple. A circle. With a dot in the middle. Now our animal can see. But how does it smell? Haha, <laughs> pretty bad. Draw a line here. Then two small circles for its nostrils. Underneath, two big teeth. Above the eyes, two triangular shapes make two ears. And onto the back, draw a cool spiky mane. Bottom, draw four thin legs, stretching out and running fast. And a cute little tail. It looks a bit like a horse, but it's a Z. Hmm. Okay, still with your black pencil, shade around the nostrils and up to the line. Draw a patch around one eye. And shade that in too. Finally, draw some black stripes down the body, all the way down to the tip of the tail. Okay, so it's black, it's white, it's stripey, looks like a horse, and begins with a Z. Of course, it's a zebra! Green for a scribble of grass. And blue for some mountains and clouds in the background. Finally, sign your name on the drawing and your zippy zany zebra is done! <laughs> Z is for zebra. Z is the last letter of the alphabet.